This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, November 12th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have this big push of cold air just moving in across the eastern two-thirds of the country. A little bit of a disturbance coming around the base of this low pressure system that will be moving off into eastern Canada. Could trigger a few clouds and maybe a flurry or two far northeastern counties, mainly Minnesota and Wisconsin looks to get it. But it's still going to remain cold highs today, mainly in the upper 20s to lower and maybe middle 30s across the state. And that looks to be the same for the next couple of days as well as we go into Thursday. You can see the cold air still around all the way down into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley, down into the southern plains. A little bit of precipitation across the Gulf Coast, some precipitation moving into the far west as well. Going into Friday, still a little bit of snow shower activity over the Great Lakes. System moving off the East Coast, finally bringing the cold weather to the New England states and the Mid-Atlantic. Otherwise, we'll be looking off to our west for the next system that will be coming in. A little bit of snow activity pushing in, especially here on to the day on Saturday. It looks to be rather light accumulations at this point. We'll have to wait and see if we get some better consistency with models to see if we could get some better accumulations or no snow at all, we'll have to see. By Sunday, that storm is now moving off to the east. Could see some light snow early in the day in our eastern counties. Otherwise, the cold air is back again as if it's gone anywhere. Highs will still remain in the 30s, maybe back into the 20s as we move into next week, Monday. A lot of precipitation across the southeast and into the mid-Atlantic and northeast. Some mainly in the form of rain, but some snow is possible down in the Tennessee River Valley as well. We'll have to see if that occurs. And as we go into Tuesday, it's still cold. Some snow showers in the Great Lakes over into New England as well as the front moves off the coast. The next storm is moving into the west coast as well, and that's the system we may have to watch as we move further into next week. By next Wednesday, it's pretty much still cold. You can see that big ridge pumping up over western Canada into eastern Alaska, and that's what's taking the cold air up in the northern part of Canada and around the North Pole and diving it straight into the plains, upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and into the north and east. Still see some snow showers around the Great Lakes and some rain and mountain snow over the west, but fairly calm and quiet across the rest of the country outside the Gulf Coast where there could be some rain there. As we go into the extended period, Around the 21st or so, a bit of a dip in the jet stream over the middle part of the country. You can see a little dip in the middle, but pretty much west to east at this point. But unfortunately, it's still somewhat chilly around here. Some precipitation possibly moving in if this is to be correct. Temperatures may warm back to around 40 if this is to be correct, but these cold weather patterns tend to last quite a bit of time so we'll have to see if this continues and as you can see at the end of the forecast around Thanksgiving unfortunately the cold air is back straight out of the Yukon and the Northwest Territories and none of it province back into the middle part of the country back into the Great Lakes and here comes the snow back into the middle part of the country again with a storm system moving off the East Coast so it looks like even if we get a small reprieve it looks like cold weather is here to stay for quite some time into the future. Looking at the satellite image from last evening, fairly calm and fairly cold across the country. A little bit of cloudiness, a little hard to discern over the Great Lakes states. Coastal storm moving up the coast off the shore and moving away. And some streaming clouds over the southeast. You can see watch warning map for last evening, some dense fog advisories along the coast, winter storm warning in northern Wisconsin and the UP, some hard freeze watches and warnings in the south, and some winter weather issues over the Pacific Northwest coast. Taking a look at the QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, showing the heaviest precipitation will be across the west coast and the south. Around here, maybe a little bit of precipitation as we move in toward the weekend.